it is incredibly difficult to make films and television in Canada as a black creator. After 20 years in the film industry, various awards and accolades, Jennifer Holness says getting funding isn't getting easier. I am the most senior black female filmmaker in the country. I got $45,000 in development. Telefilm gives out $40 million a year. She says the Black Lives Matter movement inspired her to demand change. We all have been sort of like, you know, punching it out for years and years and years. And these systemic barriers, no one seemed to notice, uh, you know, no one seemed to care. And, um, and we just felt like we had to say something. That led to this letter, signed by nine prominent black Canadian filmmakers and sent to the Heritage Minister. It calls out anti-black racism in the Canadian screen-based industries. It also proposes the creation of a black screen office. Holness and her colleagues met with the minister this week. Afterwards, Stephen Gilbo's office issued this statement, calling the meeting an important step in our commitment to create more space for diverse stories and perspectives in order to make lasting changes. Sending. Telefilm Canada is also pledging to do better. Do you think that there is anti-black racism in Canadian screen-based industries in general? Do you think that that's a problem that exists? Yes, I, I think that, that it does. And, and Telefilm has acknowledged the existence of that um, systemic racism. There have also been recent calls for more transparency on which filmmakers are getting more funding. We want uh, hard her data to show that, in fact, uh, you know, systemic racism has kept a lot of filmmakers out of the system. Telefilm says it's going to share more about how its funding is allocated and do more to hire and support people from underrepresented communities. It is a firm commitment. It is a genuine commitment that we have started the, the conversation with them. Holness says she's hopeful. She says she has a lot to offer as a filmmaker and hopes to see the barriers in her way soon broken down. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.